a lot bigger hole this time so we're not going to destroy the feed line putting it in there Again, this is RG58 because it's such a short run it's not going to matter it's already coming out and we're going to run it down all the way through and just leave just a little bit to work with out here and the next step will be to cut this and solder on the uh, ring connector. I'm going to come back a little bit and roll that RG58 under the blade. Get a little tiny mark in there. Bend it over. Just cut until just until we see the copper. You don't want to cut any of those copper strands. Slide the braid down so that you get a little push at the bottom and pick out the strands. Another way you can do this is to push the center conductor out the bottom but that puts a lot of stress on that center conductor especially if you have a solid one. This one is braided. I just like to push them out like that. Make sure you get them all. So if you don't have a short Cut that aluminum inner shield off, twist them up, twist them up nice and tight. I've already got the soldering iron warming up. The bottom one, where the T has got the bottom sticking out is the negative or the braid. We want to make sure we leave account for the rings and then snip these little buggers off. And if we make a mistake we can always come back and do a little more but let's try and do it the right amount just right the first time. Okay. That looks just perfect. All we have to do now is put the ring terminals on. And just like the last antenna, grab that little blue insulator and just twist it off. Little twist, these are side cutters and you don't have to grab much, just twist and pull. I'm going to do all three because we're going to need one for the SO239 on the other end. Now we're going to put a crimp connection for mechanical right after we dip it in the flux because we want a little flux in there when we go to solder it next. Don't let any strays get out. Nice and solid. And get the same amount through the crimp. So that they are the same length. Those will be part of the radiating portion of the antenna. Now we solder. Gunk on that tip. We're going to put it in the flux and she brightens right up. See that? That's the importance of the flux. Get a nice clean solder in there. A little bit of solder on the uh, iron helps with the heat transfer. Rosin's boiling. I want to get this on there rather quickly so that you don't destroy the insulation. There's starting to melt the solder. 
and we have a joint. Like the others, I'm going to run it around the tip, the ring, just to give a good solder connection, or a good electrical connection when we crank that split washer down into it. Same thing over here. Let's see if we can position this to where you can see it a little better. Try to use a hammer to hold still. There we go. Should be able to see that. Starts to boil. That solder can wick right down in there. And there it goes. And run a little bit around the ring. Done. Really simple. As soon as that cools, and I can feel the heat clear up in here. As soon as that cools, we will hook it onto those bolts just to hold it for us while we do the other end. And after we get the other end, we'll be sealing them both up with lots and lots of elect liquid electrical tape. Come to the other end. We have enough for another antenna. Razor blade knife. Not as easy to roll this, so I'll just go gently. When you bend, you see me bending it like that, that puts stress on the plastic jacket and it helps tear once you get that cut going so that you don't actually have to press the blade all the way down into the copper or whatever the conductor is. This one is copper. Some are copper-clad aluminum. Those will cut very easily. Okay. Same thing as before. Tear that shield apart. Get the aluminum out of the way. Now we've done a shorter piece here because we don't have to go very far. We're just going and don't get the insulation. We're just going into the SO239. A little bit more. A little bit of flux. Center one doesn't get a ring, it gets the SO239. See how black that is? Back into the flux. Nice and shiny. A little solder on the tip. There it goes. And the soldering is done. All we have left is mount that SO239 in there. 